when I switched from D pod to C pod. I realized that running a store gained you some sort of uh, respect and it also was a way to remain social with people. And, you know, having a little bit extra money and influence is never a bad thing. So, I run the most unique store in C. Even transactions, I don't do owing, and there's never any kind of debt at all. Every single decision I've made in here has just worked out for me, except for doing some deals with Ricky. Ricky, you know, he has his own little black market. He's been cheeking all of his medication, Drugs. hiding it till later, and then selling it off to other inmates in return for other items. Ricky's someone who needs to be on all of his medication because when he doesn't, he gets progressively worse. It's very confusing to talk to Ricky, but I've had experience talking to people who are, for lack of a better way to put it, out of their mind in the hospital before, and you kind of just nod your head and smile. Do you want to talk to me? Well, yeah, I have something in my eye. Yeah. I can't I sit there and it. talk to you if you're going to rub your eyes. I'm listening. I have my eyelashes. I'm done, bro. Huh? I'm done. No, I'm not stupid. I know when somebody's making fun of me. I scratch my eye and Ricky just goes completely haywire. You've been possessed, homie. Yeah, I didn't like, get to hear anything. I got an eyelash in my eye from blinking. Uh, I'm not, but... He really thinks that I have a demonic possession because I touched my eye. Not like that. I don't... You might have just misconstrued things. I really have something Anytime in my mind. Anytime I pray, evil spirits enter somebody that ain't got control of their body. It's something in you that has to do it to let me know who you are. I just didn't I just want you to think you I was sit coming here at you. And act like I'm friends with you when you're an enemy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to whoop somebody. You know what I'm saying? I ain't nobody to be played with. You can't have. what you really mean. I really want to just not end up here again. I you ain't wanna... changing, buddy. I heard the way you talking. You're getting worse. Am I? Yeah. You just hope you don't get tough. So I'm kind of in a tough spot at this point because you can't rationalize with a person like Ricky when he's off of his meds. And if you try to fight a person like Ricky in a program like this, you're going to catch a real charge. Never doing anything again. I kind of want to just settle down. Honestly, I'm gonna be a better person. My only real option is to kind of play along with Ricky and hope that they call my name soon. I'll do what I have to do to be a better person. Part of your career. <laughs> I didn't sleep for the most part throughout the night. I was nervous about Ricky, who could have just done anything at any given point. It was just completely unpredictable. my name. It was like a sigh of relief. And I just started grabbing my stuff. And all the vultures started swarming. What do you have to give me? I call this, just like all this stuff started happening. Even Ricky asked me for commissary. 
At the end of the day, I really feel sorry for people like Ricky because he shouldn't be in a place like this. It's only making him worse. Hey, it's been a pleasure meeting you. As I was walking out, I really felt for a lot of these guys. I'm about to experience freedom, and all I can think of is how some of these guys may, they may never get out of here.